Hold on to your gloves, folks, because the boxing world just got hit with a plot twist. Canelo Alvarez has had enough of Oscar de la Hoya's constant jabs and decided to settle the score in the most unexpected way. In a shocking turn of events, Canelo unleashed fury and sent Oscar straight to the hospital after a heated exchange at a boxing exhibition. Canelo reached his breaking point when Oscar, yet again, threw shade at his recent fight announcement. But this time, instead of clapping back with words, Canelo opted for a more physical response. And it wasn't just a slap or a shove. Oh no. He channeled the power of his infamous knockout punch, the same one that floored Amir Khan, and delivered it straight to Oscar. The boxing world is buzzing, fans are in shock, and this feud just escalated to a whole new level. There's a lot to discuss with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this action. Canelo is set to defend his title against Edgar Belanga on September 14th. Despite Edgar boasting a perfect record of 22 wins and zero losses, everyone knows this won't be a nail-biter and definitely not the fight fans are craving. Canelo is expected to dominate round after round until he lands that knockout punch, sending Edgar crashing to the canvas. What fans really want is a brawl, and that's exactly what we'd get if Canelo faced off against David Benavidez. Oscar de la Hoya is especially vocal about this, He's taken multiple shots at Canelo, accusing him of dodging Benavidez. Let's just say Canelo didn't take kindly to Oscar's comments, leading to that explosive confrontation. The September 14th fight has been made. Canelo Alvarez, Edgar Berlanga. A fight that nobody asked for. Fans are now starting to boycott Canelo for continuing to duck you-know-who. Also, they're going up against the UFC at the Sphere. Ooh, good luck with making a splash with that one. Now, when you think about Canelo, you'd never think of him as a trash talker. I mean, sure, the guy has an ego, but when it comes to verbal exchanges, he's always on the back foot, but not this time. Oh no, he was very vocal about his feelings for Oscar. When even that didn't satisfy him, Canelo resorted to evil measures by beating the man down. Luckily for Oscar, his security was there, or else it would have been much, much worse. Canelo was picking Oscar apart. Try to steal money, yeah. and yeah. he's a <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah. He's yeah. a <laughs> He tried to, to keep the, the attention for him, not for Munguia. He's a <laughs> He steals his fighters. That's what he do. Uh, focus on your fight. Okay, and, uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Go ahead, Miguel. All right, let's but say what you want about Oscar. Yes, the guy talks a lot of nonsense, but this one thing he said about Canelo is pure facts. I mean, he's fighting Edgar, and let's be real, no one wants to see that. Just make the fight happen. Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavidez. That's the showdown we all are dying for, but Canelo knows better than to take on that challenge. It's high risk and low reward for him. If he loses, he won't longer be the face of boxing. But if Canelo goes in there and destroys Benavidez in the ring, nothing changes, because that's what everyone expects to happen. But hey, maybe Canelo doesn't want to fight Benavidez, but the one guy he wants to put an end to is Oscar. And he nearly did put an end to him when those two crossed paths. I think Oscar had a lot to get off of his chest, and he finally had the platform to do it. This is the first uh, press conference he's had with, not first, but you know, as a fighter fighting Canelo, so I feel, uh, he's entitled to say whatever he wants to say. Everybody says what they want about him, so why can't he speak his mind? How about this? Prime, uh, prime Canelo, prime Oscar. Who do you think wins that fight? Oscar all day. Prime Oscar beats everybody. Canelo and Oscar de la Hoya used to be tight when Canelo was signed under Golden Boy Promotions, which Oscar owns. But that all went up in flames when Canelo had to sue Oscar. Turns out, Oscar has a nasty habit of skimming money from fighters. And Canelo, who was a rising star, got exploited big time. Ever since Canelo broke free from Golden Boy promotions, Oscar's been throwing shade non-stop. Why? Because let's be real, that promotion is nothing without Canelo. Oscar can't handle losing his golden ticket. So now he's taking shots at Canelo every chance he gets. I don't expect anything less than, than that with, with that kind of person. He's an a because he's, 
he's he's mad because I lead Golden Boy. I'm, I'm the I'm the golden I'm the I'm the the diamond in Golden Boy. Golden Boy is 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 not the same without me. That's why he's angry. I, I have the proofs. I have proofs. I put my my lawyers in, and he tried to steal money. I had proofs. I, I don't want to do anything against that kind of guys. I don't I don't want that vibes. I don't really. I didn't give a shit about Oscar, but I, he said something here in my in my in my territory. Territory. I need to I need to say something, right? Despite stealing money from Canelo, Oscar still says to this day that the Mexican star should be grateful to him. Get this: Oscar believes he made Canelo the star he is today. Now that's about as ridiculous as it gets. What made Canelo a star are his unbelievable skills and power as a fighter and his ability to take punches and land punches that put many great fighters to sleep. So obviously it got under Canelo's skin when Oscar was making such comments. I would be remiss if I didn't respond to the man I used to promote. He seems to have trouble remembering who helped him become a true global star. To be clear, I have nothing but respect for Canelo. Alvarez as a fighter, his record and abilities speak for themselves. But he has spent much of the last two months insulting me rather than promoting this fight. So I'll make it a little bit easier for him. Yes, I have faced a lot of challenges in my life. Yes, I've been to rehab several times. Yes, there were some really low points in my life. And yes, there were times that work was not my priority based on my mental health which I had neglected for so long. But that doesn't change the fact that Golden Boy built Canelo Alvarez, period. The company you fought under for, for, for decades has always had one name, and it's mine. So put some fucking respect on it. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but you did not build Canelo. And I'm sure he's had much time to think about that now after being hospitalized. Canelo's glad he's cut all ties with Oscar. And the funny part is, everyone agrees. Oscar is one of the most disliked guys in the boxing community. He even caught fire from Dana White once. Dana has openly admitted he does not like Oscar. Ryan Garcia, who just went through what Canelo did, also cut ties with Golden Boy Promotions after having troubles with Oscar. I don't know about you guys, but Oscar is the last person I'd ever want to work with. I've seen some stuff about with the whole like Oscar De La Hoya thing. I'm glad to go away yeah. from him. Yeah. He's fucking crazy. We're really good friends with Dana White. Yeah. And he he doesn't like Oscar De La Hoya too, I said. Oscar De La Hoya has announced he's coming out of retirement to box again. Cocaine isn't cheap. I think nobody. Because he's a vacuum, right? Every time he's in, in problems, he don't have any fighters left. Ryan Garcia, because he he signed with with him. Now Ryan Garcia, I think he's, he's in a problem with him. That's why nobody wants to be with him, because he's he's not loyal. We've seen Canelo call out Oscar for stealing money several times, but Oscar always dodges that topic. Instead, he claps back at Canelo with the same tired narrative over and over again. Fight David Benavidez. Canelo, I just saw another video where you're still talking shit. All you say is, fuck him, fuck that. Oh, he stole from me. Well, obviously, aside from defaming me, why do you look inside your own circle, because I know for a fact that people are stealing from you. Um, by the way, you lined my pockets, you made Mungia a shitload of money, all because you're afraid of David Benavides. Fuck you. But you gotta look at it from both sides. Canelo has been ducking Benavides for a long time now. Just take a look at this video where he himself said he's tired of people asking him to fight David Benavidez. Canelo Alvarez has no plans to step into the ring with him. Um, a lot of people want to see uh, on the last uh, fight of your three-fight deal, a uh, fight with David. Do you think he's at that level? If he beats Andrade on pay-per-view and he keeps winning, that, that could be the last fight of this PBC deal, you and David? I don't know. We don't know. We 100% focus on this fight and then we'll see. But uh, uh, it's always a chance. You're tired of all that talk? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Remember, remember when everybody's talking that with when I when when I happy with Golovkin? Ah, oh, Golovkin. Oh, Golovkin. I'm tired because I always fight the fighter, you say. 
But still, you can't take anything away from Canelo's new opponent. That's what Oscar did, and that's why Canelo let his hands go. Edgar is a solid fighter. I mean, there's a reason why he's undefeated. You can't even say the same about Canelo. So it's going to be a good challenge for Canelo. And the way Edgar is talking online, he seems like he's ready to fight tomorrow. What's up, y'all? It's Edgar Belanga, and I want to tell my fight fans, man, we got the fight. Belanga versus Canelo, live September 14th in Las Vegas on pay-per-view. And for y'all fucking haters, man, they're going to eat up. This fight is going to be interesting, but what's going to be more interesting is Oscar's response to Canelo beating him up. Now watch Oscar completely flip the narrative and say Canelo was drunk or anything to tarnish his reputation. But we gotta wait to see how this one plays out. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.